excited here because we are opening up our church again, as you know, for public masses. We've been open a few weeks for individual prayer, but now it's the moment we've all been waiting for. Certainly the moment myself and Angela have been waiting for as we have our public celebration of Mass. Now, the church looks more or less as it looked before, and it's looked for the last 80 years, but there are a few little differences. And the first difference you can see on the outside, there are lots of yellow markers on the floor. The doors of the church are going to open 15 minutes before the beginning of Mass. So if you come a bit before that, you'll be asked to queue up. And if you come this way, you'll see, just like all the shops and all the other places, there are lines at roughly uh, a six foot distance, more or less, um, just so that you can keep that safe distance from each other. And the yellow lines go all the way back, almost to the Presbytery garage. So if you come in good time, which I hope you do, then you might have to wait outside for a little bit. And it might be a nice chance just to talk to the people on either side of you in the line and get to know some more of our parishioners. So does this mean that we need to leave by a different route, Father Nicholas? Yes, so there's a one-way system operating both inside and outside the church. We come in on this side. So as you're looking at the church, that's the left-hand side with the ramp and then you leave the church as the arrows show on the right hand side where the steps are. So do remember those two different entrances and exits. Ah, so we're walking towards the exit now and look, that's a good reminder to people that they can only exit here. If we look round, it's exit only. So 15 minutes before the mass, the doors will open and you'll come in one by one or bubble by bubble so if you're a couple or a family you can kind of come in together let's go through the church door and i'll explain to you exactly what we do so be careful of the steps uh, i need to be careful as well come on in oh no it already looks quite different father so if you came for individual prayer you would have seen this already okay so i need to keep to the left as i come in okay the first thing that happens is you'll be asked to sanitise your hands, okay. which one of our stewards will do for you, and somebody will also ask for your name and will um, make sure that your name is ticked off on the list. Now, okay. if you do come without having booked a place at Mass, um, we might ask you just to wait for a moment to see if there are any spare seats, and if there are, then you can come in. So we come on in, there's um, a mat here to disinfect your feet. Also on the table, you'll notice some of our very popular votive candles. So if you do want to light a candle, this is the moment to do it. Not at the end of Mass, but at the beginning of Mass. So have your 25p or whatever ready. You can buy a candle, put it in the box, and go and light it in one of your favourite statues before Mass begins. Wonderful. Now, I can actually already see, Father, some arrows and the word entrance. So are That's we right. going to have to wa walk in and go straight up the middle That's of the right. nave? Just like... Uh, outside the church, inside the church, there's a one-way system. So don't be tempted to go in and immediately go to your right or your left. We ask you to walk straight ahead. That's the one-way system. Straight down the centre aisle and then, if necessary, to the left or to the right. So where can I put my votive candle, Father? Well, we've got three candle stands. You've got one in front of the um, altar, which actually might be moved to the Sacred Heart when the church finally opens. Um, there's one at Our Lady, of course, and there's one also at St. Anthony. Oh, St. So Anthony. If you Anthony. want to go to St. Anthony, you need to go down the centre aisle and then up the side of the church in order to light the candle. So we've still got St. Anthony He's stood there. there. Now, I did notice, Father, as we walked in there, that there are some palms. Are people able to help themselves to those? Yeah, so these are the palms we blessed all those months ago, um, and we haven't given that many away, so... You can help yourself, if you wish, to a palm. Now, Father, just in the background there, I can actually see red rope. Yeah, now, what's so the red rope? We have a maximum capacity at the moment, uh, which is 42 seats. So we've had to rope off some of our pews just to ensure that social distancing. So you're only allowed to use the pews that don't have a red rope, and which will have one of these place settings which say please please sit here oh i can see so those designate the places where you can sit now it's a little bit um, more nuanced than that because if you're a couple or a family you can obviously sit together so if you're a couple you can sit side by side roughly where that um 
place setting is. And if you're a family, you can sit all along the pew. But seats are not going to be allocated to you. We're not going to, it's not like a theatre. We're not going to say to you, um, go to row five, seat B. You can sit wherever you want as long as there's a space and it's one of the designated seats. Perfect. So we're going to enter. We're going to light our candles if that's what we would like. I can see Mary beautifully over there. Oh, Father Nicholas, are we able to use the toilets? No. For the time being, um, for hygiene and health and safety reasons, we're not letting the toilets be used which is a pity because it's on brand new toilets, um, but they will be in use um, over the next few months whenever it's safe to do so. There's two other things I can see over your shoulder, Father. One is a big red cross on the sacristy door and the doors through to the toilets. What does the red cross mean? Well, the red cross is not a religious symbol. <laughs> it's not the cross of St. Andrew. It means this area is closed. So don't go into the sacristy. I know in the past some people come in to book masses or... Um, help with the flowers or that sort of thing. Please don't go into the sacristy and please don't go through to the hall or the toilet area. Lovely. So, Father, I can also see there's some signage on things like the Sacred Heart statue. That's right. So we encourage you really to touch as little as possible in the church, including things like pew ends um, and certainly not touching altars or statues um, so that we don't have to clean absolutely everything in the church. But it actually looks remarkably the same as before. So that's wonderful news, Father. It looks like our church. It does, and that's the main thing. Things are a little bit different, but it's also our same church. So Mass then begins, and you know what happens in Mass. I don't have to walk, uh, talk you through that. There'll be a few minor differences. Um, they'll be a little bit shorter than usual. Obviously, there's no singing. Um, and perhaps the big difference is communion. Uh, we're not going to have a communion procession. Instead, I'm going to bring communion to you in your seat. And obviously, if you want to receive a blessing, or if, if one of your children does, then cross your arms as normal like that. So you don't have to worry about anything, and instructions will be given to you throughout the Mass. Father, at the end of Mass, what's going to happen? Now, we're not being encouraged to stay around, and unfortunately, we can't really mingle and talk to each other and shake hands and all the things we normally do after a parish Mass. So there'll be a little opportunity for prayer straight after Mass, and then row by row, the stewards will invite you to leave the church. Um, and if you just leave straight away, sanitise your hands as you leave the church. Um, but if you have any questions or anything you want to do, then send us an email um, or phone us up. We can't do it at that point straight after Mass. Oh, so you need us to leave almost straight away, do you, Father? Yeah, after a short time of prayer... Um, you need to kind of leave and also not linger outside talking to each other. It's the temptation we're all going to have. We all want to see each other again. But, yeah, please don't sort of spend 20 minutes outside the church in a big huddle. Of course. Absolutely, Father. We don't want to unnecessarily risk ourselves, do we? Well, I think that all seems very clear, Father Nicholas, and looks reassuringly the same, but reassuringly safe for us all, because we're all at at least one and a half metres but nearer two metres apart from each other and we've got the one-way system up the middle aisle we're going to leave up the side aisles and I can see the sanitising station right in front of the door as I leave so it's going to take a bit of time getting used to but really it's not too complicated and nothing to be afraid of this is a safe clean place to come and worship and in fact after the doors are shut after each mass ourselves, including even me, and the volunteers are going to be busy cleaning the church. So, thank you so much for watching this. We look forward to welcoming you to the church um, over the, these next few weeks, and God bless you. Stay safe.